right, today we're gonna properly strap down a kayak on top of some crossbars. We always wanna use good uh, cam buckle straps. We sell them inside. They make them in all different lengths. Usually for just one kayak or canoe or paddleboard, an average length 12 foot usually does the trick. Um, sometimes at least we'll do a test trick. We'll run the straps over. If it doesn't reach, we can always upgrade or downgrade. Usually for strapping it down, we start with the buckle to go underneath the crossbar that the boat is sitting on. We usually pull, uh, usually the width of the boat. This boat's about 34 inches long, so I'm gonna pull maybe a little bit longer than that. That way when I throw this over, it doesn't hit the car, uh, but you can still reach it on the other side. Same on this access strap. We're actually gonna chuck this over as well. If you're throwing into the wind, you might want to take the time to uh, start on the opposite side and throw with the wind. We're going to do that times two. So we're going to start with the buckle, go underneath the crossbar the boat's sitting on, pull enough length so when you throw that over you can reach it on the other side. Maybe that one didn't reach, so I'm going to pull this back a little bit, pull just a little bit longer, and throw that one over so it doesn't hit the car but we can still reach it on the other side. And this one just kind of a good whip to whip it across to the other side. Now um, we'll go to the back of the vehicle. Before we start cinching it down, we definitely want to make sure the kayak is centered on the vehicle. That way it's not catching wind and pulling it one way or another. You can usually maybe use the antenna, maybe uh, the middle of the brake light or your um, windshield wiper. Some vehicles have ridges on the roof that you can really uh, line it up with. Um, and then from there, we'll go to the front. And then the same idea here. We can make, usually use the rear view mirror as a center reference point, line it up with the carrying handle. Maybe even if it doesn't have any of that, you can just kind of go with the flow of the vehicle. So we'll come back now. Uh, we can fasten our straps. Usually uh, we always want to do a little shimmy back and forth. That's how we know that they are not crossed. When we throw them over, we don't want them to cross because they can get caught on each other. Just like uh, this display here, if it gets caught, you can pull tight, it won't come untight. Uh, won't come, um, it could come loose and then uh, allow the strap to be loose. So we always wanna do that shimmy. We know they're not crossed. We usually pull the buckle to as high as we can reach. Um, bring this access strap underneath the crossbar that the boat is sitting on and then go right back up to the buckle. We'll um, separate the, the black piece from the buckle, push this button on top, run this through the bottom and pull all this access through. Try to pull that buckle maybe a little bit higher. You don't have to reach it anymore. Try to push the strap in towards the kayak so there's no gap. Put pressure on the opposite strap and pull down on the buckle strap. Usually just one hand tight. Unless you're maybe a little person, you could possibly use two hands. Um, with this access strap now, um, you could shut it in the door uh, in a pinch for a short distance trip, but we do like to tie them off. It's some, just some uh, half hitches. We'll just go around the strap that the buckle is on and run it through itself until the strap is gone. So just going around and through, around and through, and then around and through. That should be it for that. Now I'll show you another trip here, trick here too. So maybe um, um, a shorter person wouldn't be able to reach up here so much. You could step on the rim or tire or maybe around their step side. If you do open their door to reach inside there, try to be cautious not to bring a bunch of dirt in there or step all over their seat and stuff. So uh, it's nice to be able to not actually have to stand inside the door at all. I can show you a trick for that. So we'll, uh, you don't have to be able to be tall to reach up there. You could just know, do the shimmy, make sure they're not crossed, bring the strap underneath the crossbar that the boat is sitting on, and then you can actually work with the buckle down lower. So we'll separate the black piece, push this button down on top, run this through the bottom. And then from there, we kind of forget about that buckle. And then from there, we could just shimmy that buckle to the top of the kayak, hold this one in place, and then pull this, get rid of this slack. And then just uh, keep this in place, maybe get rid of any little small twists, um, and then pull down just one hand tight. And with this access again, we're just gonna go with some half hitches, go around itself and through itself on the strap with the buckle on it. So uh, that's pretty much it for using our uh, self-tightening straps. We're definitely gonna do a front tie down always, and uh, we'll show you uh, uh, how that goes. All right, now we're gonna strap down or tie down the front of the kayak to the front of the vehicle. Just to eliminate any uplift, it's a good peace of mind. It also keeps it from any rocking. Usually if maybe it's lower quality factory crossbars, you can get some bounce in that as well. So you definitely even uh, more want to do a front tie down. 
Um, normally, we would you could tie to something up front, but then you can get a lot of rope maybe rubbing on something that could damage your vehicle. So we like to pop the hood. Um, it's under here. We also like to, and we can tie to uh, maybe either be the some sturdy core supports, maybe even a fender hold. All this is kind of flimsy, so we'll probably try to skip that. Although on this vehicle with this kayak, um, we like to line up. Uh, we don't want to have it like off the headlights and coming back at such a far angle. We like to keep our front tie downs kind of short and sweet. So uh, conveniently on this rack, um, it comes to the sturdy um, um, hood hinge. So here we're going to make a couple little um, front deck loops. We sell all kinds of different um, front tie downs. This might be a generic um, universal in a pinch front tie down. So we cut a little piece of rope, make it into like a little bunny ear. This one might be a little short, but we're gonna try it still. This one here, we'll try to go around the hood hinge, run it through itself. And then on this vehicle, we're actually gonna just gonna pull it off the back. And then it kinda gives us a little place to tie to. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. You can make these any length you want. This is kind of like just again short and sweet. Uh, these people might leave these on here. Um, so we're just gonna go around itself and bring the clean end through itself. So we have this little place to tie to. Um, now I'm actually gonna have it come off the back of the hood. So I'm just gonna spin this around. And now we have a little place to tie to. Actually, this one's a little short. We might have to cut and edit this guy. Not sure why that one works. Uh, one sec. Yeah. handy to carry a knife. All right, same idea again here. We'll just bring the, the clean end through the knotted end, and then we're gonna bring it so it comes off the back. It's a little bit sleeker, didn't catch anything. So now we have these little deck loops or hood loops. Uh, we can shut the hood on these little tie downs. We got the guy sticking out right here, and then we have another one on the opposite side. On our front tie downs made of rope, we usually start on one end. We make a bend it back, maybe you keep it about seven, eight inches long. I'll bring it around itself and bring it through itself. Just making a loop at the one end. And then we like to start at the loop. I'll bring it just the tip of that loop through there and I'll bring the knot and the rest of the tie down through that other loop and just pull it together. This guy here, on this Hobie kayak, it conveniently goes through this chrome pad eye. Just gonna go right through itself here, and then just bring it right back to yourself. And then we'll come across to the other side. Uh, to our other loop. So we're actually gonna make a, uh, you could possibly tie it off right here, but it is nice to be able to make a little trucker's hitch. Um, it allows you to pull it a little bit tighter and a little bit more easy to tie and untie. So here I'm just gonna, I'm kind of splitting the difference between uh, the hood loop to the kayak. I'm gonna go right in between it. And I'm gonna make another random loop in the center. From there, we're gonna go through this uh, hood loop, which is a little small, though it could be upgraded with all kinds of different hood loop tie downs. Uh, from there, so we, um, now we can go up to that random loop. We can pull down on this one, just enough to prevent uplift. We don't need to pull it so tight that it's bending our bars or breaking your bars even. Just enough to prevent uplift. Usually I go, I kind of pull it down enough, bring it down like a half inch or an inch. Um, so I'm just gonna pull it here. And then from there, I can pinch it here, um, kind of where it's going through the loop so it doesn't back up on me. And now I'm just doing more half hitches. I just go around itself and through itself. And I'll pull that up to my fingers. That holds it, I don't have to pinch it anymore. So I'm just gonna do the same thing, going around and through itself. Around and through. And we could cut this off, although it's kind of nice, it makes a pretty front tie down, um, somewhat secure and somewhat universal. If the boat's maybe a different boat or something, you have to, the customer or ourselves have a little bit of access to work with. And then I think that's it. And from here, I'm just going to be courteous and just burn the end so that uh, it maybe prolongs the, uh, this front tie down.
so they can use it for multiple times. Uh, I think that's it for tying down a kayak on top of a uh, crossbars. Front tie down and um, on the crossbars. You could tie down the back the same way we did right here, tying into the core support of your rear tailgate or rear trunk. Uh, it's not totally necessary uh, unless you're going to maybe going at really long distance trips or really high speed and also not getting into your rear hatch because it'll kind of be tied shut. I think that's it for Sail River Outfitters kayak strap tie downs.